Maybe yeah, we'll we're going to have... Starting items are. Well, we got six of eight Triforces and a bow to start. That's going to make our dungeon exploration pretty straight. And given that we are missing one in six, that really doesn't tell us anything about the dungeons, but those are definitely one in six that we're... Yeah, we could have second quest shapes or first quest dungeons, but fortunately we got the Triforce pieces that don't get shuffled around very Nice to have a uh, wood start. And we have our power burst as the armless item. Enemies look to be squishy so far. We'll see if that stays true or not. And we could have random flags for all sorts of different things. We could have permanent sword beams on. We could have forced Ganon or not. We could have an open Zelda room. Looks like our any roads are not shifted. Maybe. Oh, Angel taking a damage boost up to Vanilla Sec. Lionel's doing what Lionel's do best, just shoot him in the back. Gonna check out the grave, not a bad play. A lot of bunch of open caves over here. Now he's gonna think better of it and take up an A back to start. And it looks like he's going to head down towards the south. And Edogenos is going to confirm that we have either a first or a mixed quest over. Oh, it looks like nine. nine at three here. So Edogenos, first one to get to to find nine. If he can find those two Triforces, he can go start digging. Th now, Jessica's nine may be open. We still need to find things. We still might need to find that bow. We might need to find those silvers. Well, we have the bow already. Cancel that. So we'll see what. And as we saw in the last seed, just because you can get in nine, just because the princess the Ganon might not even be required, but that doesn't mean you don't need other things to traverse them. We could have extra bosses on with like a Goma or a Dig Dogger blocking an important door. We could need ladder. We might need keys and bombs, so anything is possible in these randomizer seeds. And we find level 5 on agents. Alright, and this will be our first test to see where our dungeons are. So far, it looks like it is not second quest. So you can go through. Nice Kanana key through that door. So one tell that we'll be looking for here is if we have a recorder or not, depending on what our dungeon quest is. But given that it's either shapes or first quest, uh, recorder would be the item we're looking for. Finding the recorder here tells us where would tell us where all the items we would need are, and also tells us that the important items are going to be locked into dungeon nine with the red ring and the silver arrows. I wouldn't call it guaranteed with just one, but it's it increases the likelihood, at the very least. They'll also be eager to see if there's a heart drop on the floor. The more heart drops you find on the floor, the less likely it is that your uh, heart shuffle flag is on, and that can be a very annoying. Agent does find a candle, and they take any shot, picks it up so we can do some burning. Interesting call to leave level 5 without looking for the item. Probably looking for levels 1 and 6 first, though. It looked like he got locked into a dark room that was a C-shape, but it had red whiz, red whiz robes, and he was not getting out of there. So just chose to up A, get out of there, and try something. Okay, so we have some good knowledge here. We see the Triforce room for level 1, and we had a key on the floor. Therefore, our Triforces are going to be shuffled. And given the shape of this level 1 so far... It looks like we're dealing with at least a first quest one through. That's another Triforce room, so that means that room shuffle is also on, because you can't have two Triforce rooms in the same dungeon. But that is a wood boomerang on the floor, so that is a vanilla drop for level. 
Yep, now we'll see if our bow is here as well. And that's kind of, once we see two of them in the vanilla dungeon, I feel safe calling it. So I'll be looking for the floor drop for the second one. Bubbles doing what bubbles do best. I think that's the Triforce in the same room it's supposed to be in as well, right? That back corner? I think it's one down, one to the left of where it should be. Chat bringing up a good point that we saw level 9 and we started on that right hand swing. Therefore, we also know that we have either first quest or shapes for the uh, seven. Angel FM finding level eight. I'm gonna pass it for now, which you can't really blame considering that level eight is not somewhere you really want. And one thing to note is that it looks like our enemies may not be shuffled because we have the standard level one set here for energy. Do we normally get blue blue gorillas in level one, or is that just part of the set that just ha doesn't happen to show up? I think it just goes off the set. I don't think it really matters as far as the randomizer goes. It just pulls the type of enemy. They are also zero. They are also zero HP enemies. So that is a bow in one as well. Looks like we do not have a shuffle on items so this is going to be just finding the dungeons and figuring out what we're what items we're going to need to traverse at this point i would definitely dig level three if i found it get that ladder that's sorry, level four get that ladder and uh then look, keep looking for level six because ladder and maybe eight for the enemy here would be the two big ones i'd be looking Now, funny thing that Angel found level one, but chose not to keep digging it out because that's one of the few Triforces we actually do need. I wasn't aware that uh, he found level one. Okay, good. I just uh, see the Triforce is gonna pass it. I look to see if uh, Heart Shuffle's on it. Looks like. Yeah, Angel's going to level one right now. He just found level one. Oh, okay. Never mind. I was thinking of a different dungeon. They were... Angel's found levels five and eight so far. Five, eight, and nine. Uh, that's a bomb upgrade at either a white sword or a master sword. So our combat is going to be limited this seed to wood sword and. I doubt anybody's going to be digging out the wand in this seed, so. Nice uh, cheap bombs at $5 for a pack of four. So the quest is now for level 6, and where may it be? And I always, I, I just want to reiterate, I really hate digging level 9 without a ladder of some sort. Just yeah, I agree with that play, does. especially if you know which dungeon you're going to get it in. I like that play by Angel FM picking up the boomerang with uh, 0 HP. It tends to be a lot more helpful than people give her credit for it, just because you can kind of use it as a ranged item. They did a great job clearing out this NSU room. It had some... Uh, she They were able to kill three enemies with one boomerang by letting it go past the enemies, and then on the return shot, hitting multiples of the same. Angel FM having five keys there. Well, now they've down to four, but always just to get a lot of keys early in the seed. At least our bosses are going to give us a, a bit of a challenge, not going down easy like the enemies are. 
Mr. Gliarch here rolled up, up, it looks like. Yeah, we'll take that fairy. That's fine. Now, Agios does find level 8 himself, and he's going to make the same play that uh, Angel Fan did and just say goodbye to it. Interesting call. I, I would take a look at a couple rooms and see if I can find that any key. Yeah, the any key can really make or break a seed, especially if we have a first quest 9 with what, 30 something rooms in it. That could be a lot of key blocks. No, don't get me wrong, I understand HN's reasoning. You, you don't need level 8. Any key isn't going to um, waste time, I guess. But any key would definitely be something that's nice to have. So I'm going to put you a little bit on the spot, Magic Prince. Where is our level 6? I'm... Always a fan of digging out the northeast corner. There's a lot of slots over there. Um, there's a variety. It's a lot of bomb holes, but there's also some open doors. That's usually if I can't find something, that's where I had. I kind of want to be on the recorder lake just to make them go get the recorder out of. Just to be a little bit mean to them and make them work for. A HN has found a bunch of secrets. They're up to, well, they were, until they got mugged, they're up to full, uh, up to full number of rupees. So they may find a, they may just grab a blue ring soon, knowing that the red ring's probably not. I, knowing HN as I do, I would see him buying keys first even though he doesn't really need them at the point. Um, I don't think he's going to waste money on... He might buy arrows also. Combat is one of his uh, strong points. I did not see what level that was in uh, Monocle Rock there for... Uh... Angel FM, but he did just find a dungeon. It was level 3, so that would have our Raph most. Yeah, the chances of Raph being necessary are very low. And at this point, you can kind of dig out level 2. You can, you, we won't be doing that one at all, being, being that it's the uh, Magical Boomerang. Um, probably won't dig 7 at all because it is... Oh, here's level 6. The Angel FM finds it. And yeah, it looks like you were accurate, my friend. It was up in that upper corner. Yeah, it looked like on the screen you used to clip over to Vanilla 5 in the regular room. Oh, that's a nasty mugger room right now. Three Back down to three hearts for Angel. Oh no, ladder block! I think that's an actual solid ladder block. We're gonna have to go into. We're gonna follow your wish and go find four now. Yep, uh, that is 100% a hard ladder block. And it looks like Adagios has just found level four down in the coast. And even without knowing where six is or the ladder block, he's taking your advice and trying to dig it out from here. This is a really wise play from an experienced. And ladder was two rooms in. How about that? So level four down on the coast, where the heart container usually is. In
now it depends on how long it takes for Agent to get to that upper corner. But he's kind of naturally routing up that way, so it shouldn't take him too long. I can imagine that Angel FM would actually swing down towards the coast. So this could very well be uh, a close match. Yeah, there's a good chance they end up passing each other on the way through this route. <laughs> Angel FM dips in, sees level 7, goes, nope. Yeah, Ajon is going to come up through the woods, checking where, like, Vanilla 8 is and those armor statues, whereas Angel is now digging out three for... It looks like they're dig they were going to dig out three, but that is a hard block on a dig dog. That could be actually a blessing for Angel if I'm not having to waste time in level three. It's going to send him elsewhere, which is exactly kind of what he needs at the moment. Looks like Angel's going to finish the uh, level 5 area first, though, which is going to send him uh, the opposite direction, unfortunately. Ah, they found another large secret, so they decided to pick up that blue ring that they had found. Now, we know they have to go through a mugger room to get to the right location in 6. So that blue ring is, I mean, even without the, even with HN's combat advantage of experience, that doubles four hearts up to eight hearts. And that's, that's a huge change. Yeah, especially when you figure that Gen does do four hearts of damage. And we know that we're going to have wizards in level nine, just given how the enemies have fallen on this. HN finding his level 3 and immediately you turning back out. And we have a cave at the level 2 spot, therefore we know it's a full first quest overworld. And level 2 happened to carry our wood sword today, although we started with it, so it didn't matter. The runners are, ooh, HN is doing a very nice screen clip up into this ladder. Always fun to see the huddle clip. And it looks like right as Angel FM is about to find level four, Agius is about to find level six. So it's still going to be extremely close. Angel's about two two tiles away from their from her his level four, um, and eight Gen should be getting up there. I think he has to bomb the room, bomb the wall to the right of where he is right now. And level four for Angel of Heaven has just has to go north a couple screens, and that will be the ladder. And Angel knows where level 6 is. Oh, our enemies are shuffled. We have Wizards in level 4. So therefore, we do have a uh, enemy shuffle up. And as you know, it's proved me wrong. Picks up that uh, blue ring as you were suggesting he would. Well, just having so much money in the seed, you might as well grab it. If you find it on your route, he didn't go hunting for it. He found it on his route and decided, yeah, but why not pick it up? 
Yeah, I'll stop to make fun of him later for it because he hates the blue ring with a passion. Adding us into level 6, Angel FM right on his heels, heading up that way right now. We see the uh, Gurria sit in level 6 with Selfos. Our runners are going to be about four screens apart with almost the exact same gear. The only big difference is going to be Angel has about two keys more. The eight, then eight of Genos. So, this is going to be a really. And we see uh, Crystal Saber in chat who uh, has matched up with uh, Angel FM, and Angel FM had, had taken Saber to the limit. We all know how good. The Dango being the Dango. Saver is saying that Wizrobe sets are normally in four, just not seen in four. Huh. I didn't. Yeah, I never knew that either. Interesting. Okay. The things you learn while watching a randomizer. Well, that makes sense. They share the same item set, like the. Um, the like likes and the Veras, so Well we did see Gurias in six though, we know Gurias are not are not in six anyway. Or ropes for that matter. So where is this Triforce hiding? They are pretty much screen to screen at the moment. I know Agent has found um, level 9. I'm not positive if uh, Angel of Heaven looked into level Yeah, we just high-fived going through that doorway, too, so this is neck and neck. Oh, but a compass from Adagen gets him de back down to the south side of that route. Angel picks up their compass, so they're running back that way as well. Uh, Routhian 5, we do not know exactly, it's either going to be first quest or shapes. It could be either. That is a pickup at 2131 for Ada Genos, and Angel's pickup is going to be about 10 seconds behind. That just doing the immediate up A to go back to start, get him a little bit closer where that vanilla 3 is. Uh, Angel of him grabbing his final track. Angel grabs his at 2347, so about a 16 second difference between our two runners. But Angel is still thinking about where to go. Looks like they don't know where Nine is. It looks like Angel's going to jump into the any roads and go towards the one next to Vanilla Start. So th that's not a bad play. They are again only <laughs> just a handful of screens apart. So, Magic Friends, what are we looking for here in level 9? Well, we're looking for the princess. If the princess's door opens, this game is over. Uh, we might be looking for Ganon. We're not 100% certain. Uh, if we find that the princess's door does not open on finding it, then we have to go find the silver arrow somewhere in this dungeon and then find the roar. 
which is the sound Ganon makes if you are one room away and there's not an Aquamentus hiding. We do find an immediate compass here. We are about two rooms apart in this race. This is going to be within 30 seconds at worst on this finish. It could be very interesting if it's a uh, staircase type situation. And who can get to that staircase first? Health is also going to matter. Angel has four, uh, about three or four hearts. I can't quite tell from their HUD. But Ada Genos only has one, so he's got to be a little more careful with the Wizard of Dun It looks like Angel's at full HP at the moment. I had to squint at it. No, just a hit. So now it's at half of the heart. You would still want to check staircases for silvers just in case. That staircase they both took at the end of their first path led them to the other side of the dungeon. And we need silvers, it looks like, unless this room does not clear. Find out more. Oh, we don't need it! And that is the race. Ada Genos wins with a time of 26.53 for Ada Genos. And there's Angel FM with a time of 27.10 right behind them. Only 23 seconds separating these two runners. What a heck of a finish. Could have gone either way. What a race. I mean, such small differences in that race. Like, one of, like if Angel goes into that the warp zones and goes to the fourth warp zone first, they're one screen of head of, ahead of 8th gen, and this could be a different race. So close. He might still bring up a good point that it was just a little matter of H going to four before six, where Angel FM went to six before four. That was really the only difference. And we are joined by HN now. HN, what a thrilling finish. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch this one back. You guys were literally about four screens apart the entire race. The one difference was when you guys had gotten to the forest uh, the first time, you went south and you found level four. Uh, Angel went north and found level six, so he had to do the double back because of the ladder block. Right? Ah. And we also have uh, Angel FM with us. Congratulations, Angel. Well played. That was a great race to watch. I think we have Angel with us anyway. Yeah, we saw that uh, shard door at 9, and we were wondering if the door was going to open when he killed that last gel, and then it did. So, very interesting. Um, Got to check it every time. If not, there was a stairway there at least to go somewhere. But yeah, you gotta check it every time. All right, how about now? Hey, there we go. Now we hey, can good game. <laughs> good game, Agent. Jeez, it's not that gives you a little bit of heart attack to start the tournament that way. Yeah, I. <laughs> uh, I mean, that went a lot faster than a lot of the seeds I've played so far. So, especially with someone as good an explorer as you are. Uh, I'll, I will take where I was. At the Dude, I just lucked into the route, I guess. I found a candle. I turned around. I got some bombs, ran into four, found the ladder in the room. I'm like, okay. So now all I got to do is find six. I found one real 
which was nice because the boomerang was on the floor. I checked to see if the bow was there, and I'm like, okay, so we got normal drop. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I figured when the uh, boomerang was on the floor, and I was gonna go back into three to check just to see if okay, maybe maybe if Raph's there, then everything's where it should be, and that was ladder block. So I decided, okay, let's find four. Of them. Yeah, it was actually really interesting at the end when you know uh, you both cleared six about maybe fifteen seconds apart. Uh, H and you did the up and A to go back to start. Angel, you took the warp zone, and then you still entered nine like two screens apart. It was absolutely amazing to watch. It was a lot of fun. You guys should both watch this. Yeah, I didn't think about using the uh, the any roads, but I don't ever. I can't ever remember the actual order, so I just try to ignore them. Don't worry. I like I like went through the whole order just to get back to uh, start screen. Yeah, Angel, you were so close that if you had picked the right warp zone first, you would have been about a half a screen ahead going into nine. But the big difference in the routing was that Ada Genos went to four first on the coast, whereas you found six and figured out that you needed that block. For yeah, it's a little bit of shame with routing, but, you know, I, I can't do anything about that. But I felt like I routed a lot better than I have previously. So now we look forward to, I believe, tomorrow is your game two. Um, Angela, I know we, we had a little bit of discussion about the uh, secondary flag change, and they're going with the um, turning off the white and magical sword upgrade, which actually came into play in this race. I know uh, that was a thing here. Agent did pick up one of Yeah, just, yeah, the whole second room's off, I thought would uh, put everything to first quest, but I guess not. So let's just be safe and just take off the bomb upgrade. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the other reason why I up and aid, because I, both of those bomb upgrades were on the way, and I knew I could get one of them. Uh, and bomb luck in nine is always garbage sometimes. Yeah, I tried one earlier, uh, uh, right up from the start screen, but I was a no-go on there. On I feel like this flag, or this seed, could have been a little bit more difficult, like 10 minutes, like we had didn't have zero hp enemies that just makes me even with i bought a blue ring also but even then i just can turn my brain off because it's so easy to navigate the dungeons and stuff because you don't have to think about it you just have to avoid getting hit yeah i did the same thing i bought blue ring once i found the two large secrets and yeah it's pretty much just keep going yeah i was actually uh telling magic friends here that i was gonna make fun of you for picking up the blue ring each i know how much you hate it. No, I don't mind the blue ring. I just wish the red ring gave blue ring stats. I think the red ring is ridiculously open. I don't mind if people buy a blue ring. I think more people should. Uh, but there's some people that just do not believe in that, and it's lost them some races. But, you know, I mean, it depends on the seed. In this one, it's first quest overworld. I didn't really need keys. I didn't have to buy anything. Uh, if I, you know, if it's second quest overworld or I strap for keys or maybe needed meat, I'm never going to buy the blue ring. But uh, in this case, why not? I wasn't going to get any hearts because I wasn't going into any dungeons. All right. So with that, uh, let's just say a quick thank you to our tracker behind the scenes, Amasak. Um, please give Amasak a follow. Uh, Magic friends, any further questions before we uh, wrap up and see you get them? No, um, other than, do you guys know when your next race? I know you mentioned tomorrow. It. Yeah, I saw you mention it, yes. Yeah, it's tomorrow at uh, 8 Eastern, and then if Game 3 is required, we have it scheduled for right after. It's on, I think, the schedule for 10, but or for, for 9 Eastern, but uh, it's basically going to be right after. All right, then I wish you guys both the best of luck tomorrow. So with that, uh, we are going to shoot a host over to our friends over at Randomania 1. Um, come back tomorrow. We'll have some more races for you here in the Zelda 1 Random Percent 2020 tournament. Uh, with me today was Magic Friends. Track force behind the scenes was Imasok. Our restreaming today was Gary and Wolf, and I was Dark Falls. We'll see you guys on the next show. Have a great night, guys.